To have any chance of conquering Taiwan, China might need to transport as many as 2 million troops across the rough 100 miles of the Taiwan Strait and land them under fire at the island's 14 potential invasion beaches or 10 major ports. That's a lot of people, far, far more than the People's Liberation Army Navy can haul in its 11 new amphibious ships. To transport the bulk of the invasion force, Beijing almost certainly would take up into naval service thousands of civilian ships. To that end, the Chinese Communist Party has created a legal and bureaucratic framework for taking over control of commercial shipping. Meanwhile, naval engineers have begun modifying key vessels to make them better assault ships. All that is to say, the vast flotilla that would be both the vehicle for China's assault on Taiwan, and the biggest target of Taiwanese forces and their allies, is taking shape. If the PLA invasion force was a million or more men, then we might expect an armada of thousands or even tens of thousands of ships to deliver them, augmented by thousands of planes and helicopters, Ian Easton, an analyst with the Project 2049 Institute in Virginia, wrote in a recent report. The plan's eight modern Type 071 landing docks and three Type 075 big deck assault ships together can haul around 25,000 troops. A drop in the bucket. To transport the balance of the invasion force, the Chinese Navy can take up around 2,000 large commercial vessels crewed by around 650,000 mariners. The legal framework is a new one. On January 1, 2017, China's National Defense Transportation Law went into effect. Among other things, the law mandated that all of China's basic infrastructure and related transportation platforms would henceforth be treated as military civil fusion assets, Easton explained. At the CCP's discretion, they were now legally required to be designed, built and managed to support future military operations. In the event of conflict, they would be pressed into wartime service. Now they had to prepare accordingly in peacetime. According to Easton, the roughly 1,000 large vessels belonging to China Costco Shipping Corporation could comprise the backbone of this improvised fleet. Engineers already had begun modifying certain vessels for their wartime roles. At least one heavy lift ship got a removable helicopter deck, transforming it into an ad hoc assault ship. Perhaps the most important modification is a heavy ramp by which military vehicles speedily can drive from the hold of a ferry or roll on roll-off ship onto lighterage or a pier. The ramp is driven directly by two large hydraulic cylinders and two support arms, Connor Kennedy explained in a briefing for the Jamestown Foundation in Washington, D.C. These modified civilian vessels aren't idle. Their crews actively are training for a possible assault on Taiwan. Thomas Shugart, a fellow with the Center for a New American Security in Washington, D.C., last week noted two large ferries sailing far from their home ports for what appeared to be a naval exercise. The nearest coastline appears to consist of sandy beaches, and is near the amphibious training area from the 2020 ramp tests, Shugart tweeted. The huge, quasi-civilian assault fleet Beijing is building would be indispensable if the CCP ever makes good on its long-standing threat to unify Taiwan with China. But it also represents a profound weakness. Assaulting Taiwan under fire surely will be very, very dangerous for an armed, armored warship with a large, well-trained crew. For a thin-skinned, lightly crewed commercial ship, it's even more dangerous. It's not for no reason Taiwan and its allies are stocking up on long-range anti-ship missiles. The plan, if that giant Chinese fleet ever sails toward Taiwan with a couple million troops aboard, is to sink as many of them as possible in the day or two it would take for Beijing to assemble the fleet and send it across the Taiwan Strait. In assigning its commercial ships a military role, China risks not just a fleet, but a big chunk of its economy as well.
don't forget to like our video and subscribe for our channel.